What do you guys think? Should I start like a only feet page? <laughs> um, so today's a busy day. I probably should have got on the road a little bit earlier, but right now I'm headed to Marconi Museum. Well, made it to Marconi. I'm gonna go check it out. It's been uh, been a few months since I've been here. So I'm a big Ducati guy too. I love these old, I love the triple nines of this generation. That's like the last hand built Ducati. This is my favorite bike. I actually made an offer on one of these. I might be picking it up when I get back in Washington. The Tricular. Beautiful bike. I don't think an F50 ever gets old. What a crazy car. I don't, I mean, I, I love what it is and kind of how rare it is, but I'm not a big fan of it. Somebody else must not have been either. That's why they didn't make them up. I kind of want to pick one of these up and make a street car out of one. I looked into it a little bit. I mean, you have to have all your turn signals, your brake lights. Um, you have to have fenders. But, I mean, I feel like it's worth kind of modding one to be able to run around on the street. like Stradman's car. I love those old F car, Formula cars. Testarossa. What a crazy car. Maybe one of those. Making one of those street legal. I've got a couple fire trucks. Not like that. That looked just like mine. It was red, black stripe on the bottom of it. Those are the same mirrors on a Ford Fairlane. Random fact for you. Campagnolo wheels. I'm surprised they don't have the 10 inch campies on the rear. It's just got the 9 inch rear wheel. So I was always a fan of the pre. So the older ones, they've got chrome bumperettes before they put this big plastic bumper on there. I think it looks a little bit better.
What an amazing car. Oh, these are pretty cool too. I mean, does anything touch an F40? I don't know that anything's as cool as an F40, except this right here. So this has got the two pre-L dash. We'll go to the other side over here so you can see what I'm talking about. The pre-L dash has got two pods. This is, uh, I think, probably my favorite car they've got, which is crazy because it's not nearly as much like, I mean, look, we got a Jaguar XJ220 and I'm looking at a Pantera. There's just something about them. Had a couple of them. They're just uh, they're an amazing car. And so I don't know if you noticed that one. It didn't have these fender bulges. This was like a. This is the way I would do mine. Um, I want. I've actually been talking to Rob about picking his up, and so I think what I'll do with Rob's is wide body it like this. It's just a nice. It fits the body lines. I think it's a nice addition and then you got these big old monster tires on it they call these headers a pile of snakes beautiful Looks like only that one and that one are the actual exhausts. These are, there's no soot on them. what my car looks like with no engine in it. How cool. Ford GT. It's a Gulf livery tractor. It's basically your guy's car. All you Lambros.
So this car here, I've actually never had a boss through it too, but I've had 13 69 Mustangs. Um, I've had Mach 1s, I've had my first driving car that I was allowed to drive when I was 16 years old was a 69 Coupe. Um, it had a 351 modified in it. And then blew that motor up and I put, I found a 70 XR7 Cougar, which had the quenched head 11.7 to one compression, 351 Cleveland, four bolt main. The, they call it the Dove Cleveland. Uh, the D was the gener like the decade. The, that was the way their VIN numbers worked. The ABCD generational code. The second letter was which year within the decade. So it was, they called it the Dove Cleveland, the 70 Cleveland, which was the 11.71 compression, all the, all the boring stuff. But that engine there, I kind of fell in love with that engine. I put it in my 69. It was an amazing engine. And um, through my Mustangs, I had a bunch of different Mustangs. But falling in love with that motor, I found out the, the Panteras had the same engine. Uh, quenched head Cleveland so that's why I got my first Pantera and then once I got a mid-engine car I was like what is a muscle car and I feel guilty about it because they're beautiful I mean it's what a cool cool looking car right it's got so much personality I love all the old chrome bumpers and all the trim I mean they're just inset rear back window I mean all these old cars are just amazing but unfortunately they don't do a ton for me anymore. You kind of go through phases, right? Right now I'm, I'm a little more into the exotic cars. Um, the Ford GT will always be my favorite because it's kind of a mixture of that European design with the mid engine, which is where the engine belongs if you're gonna go faster on corners. But yeah, it's a cool museum. If you guys haven't been here, I definitely recommend you checking it out. All right, now I'm heading up to Peterson's. I'm gonna see a lot of cars today.